Alright everyone, in this video here I have my Nexus 4 and my Nexus 7. Uh, they're both getting the Android 4.3 update. Um, this is the over-the-air version. I didn't bother trying to download the file and then put it on the thing. Basically the way I triggered it, because this is still downloading, the way I trigger both of them is doing a reset. A system reset basically wipes everything clean and basically brings it back to stock. So that's pretty much what I did. Um, I'm going to just stop the video, wait for the Nexus 4 to finish downloading, and when that uh, has the icon to restart and install, I'm going to do both of them at the same time and see which one finishes first or which one does it quicker. My guess is going to be the Nexus 4 just because it's a newer device and it just has a faster processor. Uh, I guess I won't have to stop because this is now done. So let's uh, do this at the same time. One, two, three. It's doing it. Let's uh, sit back and uh, watch. Let's see which device finishes first. All right, Nexus 4 has restarted. Now it's the Nexus 7. Uh-oh. Now the difference in the file sizes between the two the Nexus 4 version, I think it was like an extra 10, 15 megabytes of extra files. That probably has to do with the phone function. But they're both uh, installing the system update. They're both still going. Isn't this exciting, folks? Seems like the progress bars are about the same, honestly. At least, I can't really tell the difference from the angle I'm at. It might be a draw. Who knows? We just have to wait and find out. And I'm doing this in real time. I'm not going to be... I'm not editing this video at all. So... That's why... It's going to seem a bit long, but I wanted to do a true comparison at the exact same time. I think the Nexus 7 has a newer model that recently came out, so the one I'm using right now is the first generation model, the one with the Integra 3 chip in it. I don't know if I'll be upgrading to the newer version. I'll have to look at the specs, see how much better it runs. But I will say this is that, I'll say this, on both devices, recently, before this update, they both have been running pretty sluggish. So hopefully with this new update, they'll improve the performance, things like that. Because I don't really care about newer UI elements, things like that, or new gestures, things like that. Because honestly, as of right now, it's fine. I want a better performance experience on both of these devices. And I really hope this new update fixes an issue that I've been having with the Nexus 4. And it seems to be a common thing 
based on what I've been reading online is that at least on the Nexus 4 um, it uh, once in a while the device would just shut off and that's kind of annoying so hopefully 4.3 fixes that issue for the Nexus 4 because so far besides that the Nexus 4 has been a great phone to use it seems like I don't know they're about the same uh, seems like the progress bar is almost finished okay seems like the Nexus 4 has finished first rebooted one little gripe that I always have with the Nexus 4 with this boot up screen is that the X itself isn't center it's actually it's centered from top to bottom but from left to right is actually towards more towards the right side of the screen all right still upgrading it seems like the Nexus 4 is going to be finishing first but We'll see what happens. This is not really scientific or anything, but it just gives you an idea of which one does it quicker. So it seems like the Nexus 4 is going to be finishing first, unless it has to reboot it itself. Ironically, the Nexus 4 has 27. Um, 27 apps to optimize while the Nexus 7 has 30. So obviously as you can see the Nexus 4 has finished first but you know maybe a minute or two behind on the Nexus 7 not that big of a deal but for everyone out there that's wondering in terms of updating to the newest version of Android 4.3 which one does it quicker the Nexus 4 finishes first so we might as well wait alright now that's done so obviously as you can see they're both uh, upgrade to the latest version now I have to go in put in all my settings things like that so hopefully you enjoyed this video like always have a good one uh, like this video if you're not a subscriber hit the subscribe button I really appreciate it I don't really say that too often but I really do appreciate it like always have a good one